Now, going over to the political pod podcast, you have the TikTok bill officially signed into law. Now, this comes to us thanks to LinkedIn News, and they note that President Joe Biden signed signed the bill calling for the ban, or rather, more accurately, the divestiture of TikTok after the U.S. Senate passed legislation late Tuesday night last week. Provision enabled, embed, oh, the, which was embedded in a $95 billion foreign aid package to give to Ukraine as well as Israel as well as Taiwan. Now it looks like ByteDance, which is the parent company that actually owns the entity, TikTok, they note that they have 9 to 12 months to find a buyer or face a U.S. ban. TikTok told its U.S. employees it would mount a vigorous legal challenge should a divest or ban law go into effect, citing internal memo. They also know that the pool of potential buyers for TikTok is small due to the price tag that is likely to be in the tens of billions of dollars. And antitrust concerns, even if they were found, separating the app from the parent company will be a mess, according to the New York Times. Which, yeah, that's one of those things where the people that have billions of dollars or that are in the position to buy TikTok, if China were to sell it, they won't. Spoiler alert, I don't think that's gonna happen. If it's about making money, maybe. But I can't but think it's mostly a psyop used to kneecap the United States and continue to help us become more and more mentally vacuous, which is, can uh, be a fascinating debate. What's worse, teachers unions and public schools or the app? Now, if it's just money, yeah, they probably sell it, make a profit, and they exit. It's not about money, it's about control. It's about decreasing the IQ points of Americans, getting more addicted to more advice, more device time, and just being Chinese spyware. And again, if you're trying to divest it, let's say China says, sure, we'll sell it. I mean, I don't think they'll ever close the back doors to connectivities, but if they did, who could afford to buy it? In terms of large businesses that want to get into social media but are not yet there, they're the ones that are going to be under a magnifying glass for antitrust and the SEC is going to look at them. I mean, the first thing that came to mind was Microsoft, which, interestingly enough, I think Trump actually suggested a couple years back, Microsoft has no real social media platform, with the exception of LinkedIn, which is basically just glorified social media for people in suits, like myself. But, again, Microsoft is worth so much and has such... I mean, they already have over 50% of PC operating system sales and a myriad of other things they sell as well. I don't think that would go through. I mean, most of these tech companies with the financial resources, they, they're they already at the point where I don't think the government would allow them to buy it. So it's best a question. Do you think it's not going to be like a seemingly random of investors? It'd have to be a big investment firm, but maybe they would buy it out? And again, they're of course going to take this to the courts. I mean, there's going to be first amendment arguments. They're going to say, you know, why is this government forced? I mean, forcing us to sell our entity. Some might argue the ripple effect or the slippery slope, where well, if the U.S. is doing this. What if China does not like General Motors or Ford operating in China? I know they're completely different industries, and those companies actually produce vehicles that run sometimes. But what if they use that argument? to say, well, now we're not going to allow you to own it, which China's done in the past with, in certain entities in certain ways. Was, would this ramp it up exponentially? What are other, other countries going to do? Would they possibly revolt or rebel? It'll be interesting to see. I mean, for sure, they're taking this to the court. The CEO of, of um, TikTok has made that very clear. What do you think will be the final result? Do you think they'll actually divest it? Do you think they'll roll the dice and just say, okay, you can ban it, and then everyone in the U.S. starts using a VPN? Which, again, that's a pretty big barrier. It's, of course, relatively very simple to use a VPN, but it's still an extra step, and consumers don't like that. They want to be able to press that one button on their phone and take it right to the site and use the app and have their brain drain just connect or rather spill the pool of remaining IQ points they have. So let me know in the comments where your thoughts are with the TikTok divestion. Will it actually go through? What type of legal precedents, the arguments are going to continue to use? And... How many times will this have to go to the court until we get a final re resolution? As always, be fascinated here what you have to say. Thank you everyone for taking the time to tune in today. Again, trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of the month, so if you could click that button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Also, leave a thumbs up, thumbs down, or comment is a great way to give me some additional feedback, letting me know how I can make the show better and better. Lastly, don't forget to take the time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.